I'm just about to reveal how you guys can start creating and selling your own NFTs on OpenSea and reduce some of the gas costs by using Polygon, so let's get started. This is going to be a very straightforward tutorial. It's a practical guide, so we're not going to get lost in the technicalities, right? You can just follow along with my instructions one step at a time. And the first thing we would have to do after connecting to OpenSea.io would be clicking on this button that says Create, because this is where the magic happens. At this point, you're going to have a few different options here. Basically, you have to connect your wallet. That is a mandatory step, so we cannot skip it. You've got a lot of options here that are based on Ethereum, such as Coinbase or Wallet Connect, and a couple Solana options as well, but I will go for the most popular one, which is just MetaMask. This is the most straightforward and beginner-friendly to use as well. And once you're done with that, once you have successfully connected your wallet, you should be taken straight over to this section where you can create a new item. However, there are a few more things we need to do in the meantime. As you might expect, it is mandatory to set up a wallet and I would rather go for MetaMask just because it's really straightforward to use, right? If you want to use your laptop or your personal computer, what you want to do is add the Chrome extension to your Chrome browser. In case you're using a different one, this tool is also supported by Firefox, the Brave browser and Microsoft Edge. So you're not going to have any problem installing that. Now, if you want to use your mobile phone instead, you can just download the mobile version for your iOS or Android device, depending on which one you have. But now let's get back to OpenSea. Here's the thing I'm going to do next. I'm about to illustrate one step at a time how you can create an NFT of your own and list it on OpenSea for sale. It is a fairly user-friendly process, but I want to emphasize the fact that OpenSea will charge you a few gas fees, which will amount to something quite significant. Now, in order to create my NFT, I'm going to keep things very, very simple. What I'm going to do is connect to one of these royalty-free picture websites such as pixels.com or pixabay and download the random picture. These are copyright-free, so I'm not going to get in trouble for using that. That is an important step as well that most people overlook, unfortunately. Let's just search for something cryptocurrency related. And once you've done that, you've literally got 1,000 different photos you can download for free. They're not going to charge a single dollar for it and we can start playing around. And so I'm just going to download this one and turn it into an NFT. However, guys, I think that this design right here is quite basic. So instead of keeping it as it is, we're going to apply an additional filter to make it look more unique. The way you can do that would be by connecting to fodder.com and especially to their NFT creator feature. So you want to click on this button that says create NFT now and then upload your picture. There you go. I just uploaded mine and at this point we got to wait a couple minutes for this tool to apply the filter. But as you can see it really makes a difference. It looks entirely different and a lot better. There you have it. It makes it look more cartoonish and that is precisely what we need to go for. So I will increase the intensity to the max. But unfortunately, there is a watermark here that we need to get rid of as well. Now, what you can do is either start your free trial in order to remove the watermark and you will not have to enter in your credit card credentials as far as I know. Or you can just grab a screenshot here, which I'm going to do for the sake of simplicity. So let me grab my snipping tool and take a small screenshot. And we're going to turn this design into an NFT in a second. Again, don't worry about it. You do not have to be a blockchain expert to make this work. It's going to be really straightforward. I'm going to save this design on my device and move forward. Once that is out of the way, I can head back over to OpenSea and upload my picture. And once I've done that, it is mandatory to also add an item name. And of course, there are a few additional things you could do here in order to improve the likelihood of your NFT actually being bought by somebody else. Such as you can add an external link, you could create a whole presentation website describing your project and this NFT in particular. You can also add a long description here as well and you can add it to a collection. That's going to make it even more unique. If you want to, you can even add textural properties or levels or even stats. But now here's the important part. There are a few things you can do. First off, you can select Ethereum as a blockchain. And if you base it on Ethereum, here's what happens. I'm going to click on create and at this point, the NFT is going to be generated. I'm not going to have to pay a single dollar for that. Let me show you. We're going to have to wait for a couple minutes here, but once that is out of the way, there you go. The NFT has been successfully created and we can find it on OpenSea. There you have it. It was minted just a few seconds ago by me and it has been created successfully. However, guys, there is a little bit more that goes to it than that. You see, if you click on the sale option right here and you want to actually list it for sale on the marketplace, there are a few different approaches you can take. First off, you can select a fixed price that can be anywhere between $50 to $10,000. That is entirely up to you. Or you can just go for a timed auction and let people bid for your NFT, which might also be a good decision. 
but that is entirely up to you. I'm not going to bore you with that. Instead, I'm just going to choose a fixed price of, let's say, 0 0.1 Ethereum, which is about $100 right now and have a duration of one month. However, guys, there is going to be a service fee of 2.5%. And on top of that, if I click on complete the listing, I will also have to pay some gas fees because I'm operating on the Ethereum blockchain. Here's what I mean. As you can spot, at this point, I would have to connect my wallet first, but most significantly, I would have to pay this fee right here. That is about $8. And that also includes the gas fee. But there is a way we can get rid of that. As you can see, that price is also volatile. It has raised to $9 right now as we speak. There you have it, $10. This can change in an instant. And so guys, here is the quick fix for that. If we go back to the NFT creator feature, we're gonna notice there was another option apart from Ethereum and that was Polygon. So let me upload another picture or let me upload that one once again and add a name. Once that is out of the way, I can choose the blockchain that I want to base my NFT on. And in this case, it's gonna be Polygon, but we cannot do it just yet. There are a few more steps we need to complete in order to set it up successfully, but I'm about to walk you through that process right now. Here's what you need to do. First off, you gotta connect to docs.polygon.technology. And there is a full instruction guide right here that you can follow, but I'm about to break it down for you so it's even easier. In order to get to that website, all you gotta do is search for configure polygon on MetaMask. And it should be the second search result or something like that. Now, what you're gonna have to do is head over to your MetaMask wallet. You can just open your Chrome extension tab and then click on MetaMask. That's going to open it up. And now what you wanna do is head over to the settings here. And what you wanna do is expand the view. Once you're here, you wanna go over to your settings. You can click on that icon right there on the right hand side and then select settings and you're good to go. Now, up next, you wanna head over to the network section and add the Polygon network which has not been added, as you can see, by default. So we have to add it manually, but that's not going to be too difficult. All you got to do is click right here where it says add a network, and then we're going to type that in one step at a time. First off, the network name. Let me just do a picture-in-picture -picture view here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. First and foremost, the network name is going to be Polygon Mainnet. So let's just copy that and paste it in. There you have it. Now we have to also enter in the URL, so let's just copy and paste it. I'm going to enter the chain ID as well, which is 137 in this case. And then the cryptocurrency symbol, which is Matic. Ultimately, you also want to add the block explorer URL, which is polygonscan.com. And we are good to go. So let's save it. There you go. Polygon mainnet was successfully added. And as you can spot, we are now operating on the Polygon blockchain. But let's not get fully sidetracked here. Let's get back to OpenSea. And what I can do right now is select the blockchain. In our case, it's going to be Polygon and I can create the NFT. There you have it. I just have to fill out this captcha and I'm pretty much all set. The NFT has been successfully created as you can spot right here. And now we can actually see it on OpenSea. Not only that, but we can list it for sale. There you go. It has been minted just a few seconds ago and it is ready to be listed. So let's click on the sale option and see what we can do. Now, as you can see, OpenSea supports NFT trading across multiple blockchains, and that includes Polygon. And the best part about this particular one is that you do not have to pay any gas fees. That's right, no gas fees or Ethereum are needed. However, guys, you will still have to pay that 2.5% service fee. You're basically getting rid of those gas fees, but you still have to pay a very small commission to OpenSea for their contribution, for their work, right? They're just gonna keep a cut, and that is natural. And so let me just complete the listing. There you have it. No gas fees will be added. All you gotta do right now is just provide a signature. As you can spot, I'm connected on the Polygon mainnet right now, so we should be good to go. And just like that, you have saved some decent amounts of money by getting rid of those gas fees. And a lot of people are doing that as well. If you head over to the Explorer section and you take a look at some of the most popular NFT projects, you're gonna notice that some of them are also based on Polygon. But now there is more to it than that, guys. So we have just created an NFT, we have listed it on the marketplace on OpenSea, and now what are we doing about it? We're just waiting and hoping for the best. That is not a best approach. We cannot just count on luck. I genuinely think that anybody can create an NFT. It doesn't require you to be a genius. You don't have to be a cryptocurrency expert either. You can just follow a list of very simple instructions and you're good to go. But when it comes to actually selling that NFT for a profit, actually making it worth your time, that is far more difficult. Why are people going to spend hundreds of dollars on some random pictures that you have just created? There's a very small likelihood of that. And I genuinely think that this aspect right here is what sets apart a successful NFT project 
from an unsuccessful one. It is all about marketing. If you head over to Revity.tools and then you connect to the upcoming NFT sales section, you're gonna notice that there are hundreds of NFT projects being launched on a daily basis. But the ones that actually generate some profits have a huge social media following. They have built an actual community of people who are genuinely interested in the project. Here's what I mean. If you check out their Discord servers and their Twitter pages, you're gonna find out most of them have been leveraging their social media quite a lot. Most of them have a few thousand members or even tens of thousands sometimes on their Discord servers. And it is not enough to just have members on your Discord server. You also want to make sure they are engaging actively and they are interested in your project. But that is a lot more work than just listing an NFT on OpenSea. So if you really want to create your own project and make sure it is successful, perhaps you're going to have to partner up with some other people. Perhaps you're going to have to hire a community manager. There's a lot more that goes into it. However, guys, there is a start for everything. And if you want to create your very first NFT from scratch, you've got all the resources you need to make it happen. So I want you guys to give it a try. Even if you're not going to sell it, you can just get familiar with the process. That's it for now. And thanks for watching.